this is actually like responding to your pressing this might actually be my favorite function overall so gravistar has been gracious once again by sending us another cool item called the mercury k1 this time it's a gaming keyboard so we at ljp tech love every single item that has been sent to us from gravistar because not only do they look really cool as a decorative purpose on a desking environment but also they function very well for example the speaker right behind me the gaming mouse called the mercury m1 and also the gan power socket that looks like cool robots and etc all these videos are available as a review from our youtube channel so please do check it out so this mercury k1 is a 75 percent wireless mechanical gaming keyboard not sure what it means by 75 percent i think it's down to the strength the power of battery life this comes with an mx structure linear switch and all pure m material 70 million keystrokes 70 million <laughs> and a gold plated contacts gold mm. So this comes with an RGB lighting system and a PBT double shot and an aluminium alloy so it makes it light and rigid and strong and hot swappable as well. So this comes with a 79 number of keys, Bluetooth version of 5.0, battery capacity of 8000 milliamp power that's twice more than a flagship phone and the system support of windows xp and above and also supports mac as well so i'm really excited to do the unboxing and find out how cool this device is so enough said let's get on to the unboxing shall we so here it goes i like this sort of chaos of deliberate lining in here nice bit of weight so let's take out the gravistar cover instruction manual and also the keyboard whoa that is very nice so we got this box here so if we were to open it up we got this keyboard spare component actual tool to take these out usb to usb c cable and i think that's pretty much it for the packaging itself so the first impression is that all the writings interesting enough is written on the below side of the key not on the top so all the writing will not worn out over the years so that's very clever indeed we got the media switch button so this is volume up and down and mute this is very useful indeed and also this mirror like surface is where you're going to see the gravistar logo popping up when you turn it on these are the led light feature that's going to be really cool i look forward to see that happening and on the bottom side of it if we turn it around we got the usb dongle and a magnetic joint so you can actually take it out and put it in to get it connected with the wireless connection for more accurate connection and also the feet if you want to actually adjust the height you can take these out uh, on the top and the bottom we've got the rubbery sort of joints as well so it makes it more stiff joint on your desktop and lastly on the back side we got the USB-C plug to charge it you can actually use it for either Bluetooth or wireless switch on here and you can switch it around between Mac and Windows as well the keyboard itself the pressing button is really nice and smooth I mean look at that so yeah I could easily see that I could you know adapt very well with all the typings and so on nice asmr isn't it so the moment of truth let's actually turn it on to bluetooth connection mode right so it's all lit up look at that so you can see the gravistar logo as promised has come out that looks really cool i don't know how they did it because it looks like a complete mirror when you don't turn it on anyhow i believe if you press the function button you can actually change all the modes of lighting effect but before that look at this all the keyboards the buttons of and also the writing is now lighting up so that's pretty cool isn't it it's really way ahead than its competitor i have to say so that's really nice so if we were to press the function button here and change the lighting so i think this is the first one the second one is sort of ever changing lighting effect from green to yellow red and so on purple you name it and i think this one is that if you press any of the buttons on the top 
uh, row, it will light up. If you actually press any of the row, the whole row will light up. I do like that. That's quite unique, actually. So if we press the function again, this one is if you press any, the whole thing lights up. That's also very cool. <laughs> Also, this is just like here and here, glowing, very natural, sort of organic sort of effect. This is another sort of river flow this way. This one is quite quiet. Oh, look at that. If you press it, it lights up like a shadowy effect of a white lighting. Also, this is like a <laughs> this sort of movement here and a rainbow um, sort of like circling around kind of thing. There's another rainbow going downwards this way, ever changing. This is like glowing from center to outwards, changing lighting. And that's just the essential button of the blue, isn't it, for gaming. These are actually used quite a lot for gaming, so I really appreciate that. And that's just completely dark. So that's pretty much it for the lighting effect. So the lighting effect that comes as a white as a default, you always have a choice to change the actual color by pressing the function and tap. So you will notice there's a rainbow here, uh, green, blue, yellow, purple, light blue, and white. So if you want to change the display, uh, again, this is actually like ever-changing color, so there's no point pressing the actual tap. You go to the next one, there's a laser of like rainbow here. I think that's quite cool. But if you want to change the actual color again, press the tab with the function. It's now white, green, blue, um, this is yellow, and so on. Now, if you go to the next sort of display, this is actually like responding to your pressing. Actually, this might actually be my favorite function overall. But if you want to change the color, uh, you just press the tab again. So ever changing color indeed. Next one is like just completely off, so no point. The ever-changing function of display, there's no point of pressing the tab, uh, but this one seems to be changing into different color. So you get the picture of what's going on here. I mean, the rainbow, I have to say, overall is so cool. But yeah, this one actually might be my favorite overall um, because it's just like ever displaying the beautiful color that you can see right so if you want to increase the brightness of the lighting you just press up if you want to decrease it you just press it down so you can see it, the brightness is changing ever so often now you can also uh, change the speed of the way how it's changing lights for example if we do this now you can see that the blue is changing to green and so on if you want to slow right down you can press this so that it slows down but if you want to increase the speed by pressing on the right hand side is now quickly changing okay so that's for the function left right button up down for the brightness now you can also change the uh, ambient light by pressing the function and shift button so you can see that here the lighting itself is now changing to like sort of blinking with white now if i press it again it's a bit more like zoom in and out now it's a bit of a rainbow changing color ever so often and another rainbow sort of effect and that's just completely off and we're back again so you can change the ambient color by pressing function and this button right above it so you can see green purple sort of bluish pink red whatever so that's the different colors and also you can change the brightening settings by pressing this you know so it goes lower and brighter and then lower and so on and lastly, you can cycle through the ambient light speed through doing this. You know, you can actually circle through it, whether you can change it quicker or, you know, slower. That's all down to this button indeed. So this mirror-like display that shows a logo of the Gravis Star, if you actually turn it on and press the caps lock, it will turn to white to let you know that it's an uppercase. But if you want to go back to the lowercase, you just press the caps lock 
and then it will go back to the normal standard of ever-changing LED sort of display of the logo. So for Bluetooth connection, all you need to do is press the function button and choose one out of the three number to make sure which one connects to the device. So I'll press number one for more than three seconds and it's already there, but you're gonna see a blue light flashing very quickly. So that means it's ready to connect for the number one. So all you need to do is connect it and that's all good to go. So you can have up to three different types of devices connected at the same time. So what you need to do is press for function and number one is for first device. You can see the blue light is flashing on the number one. If you want to swap it to number two, it's flashing. I think very quickly means that it's not connected to a certain one and the third one as well. Uh, so you can simultaneously swap them around by pressing the function button here. So now we're connected to the wire as you can see. So you plug it into the USB-C port and also change the function button to not the Bluetooth or the wireless mode, but put it in the middle. And the way how the keyboard is telling you that it's a wired is that if you actually change the function around, you can see number four is flashing here. Okay, can you see that number four? And um, the reason it's number four, as I explained early on, you can actually connect it up to three different types of Bluetooth. And the fourth function is the wire. So basically I'm in the wireless mode and you will notice the blue light here is constantly flashing. It's basically letting you know that there's no detection of the USB-C dongle. So once you actually connect this up, the blue light will disappear to let you know that the connection has been made. So that's very clever. For reset, all you need to do is press the function. I'm not going to do it here, but if you press the ESC both together for more than three seconds, then it will reset it. Actually, what the heck, let's do it here to show you what happens. If you press those, that's the reset. Okay, so to check the battery life of this keyboard, you just need to press the function and B and you will notice there's the number one to zero that is highlighted in green. This means that it's fully charged, but if it actually goes below the three, which is less than 30%, the actual function button will show a red light to remind you that you need to charge this keyboard. Now to find out exactly how much of a battery life you got with your keyboard, you can actually go to the Bluetooth page on your Windows and then it will show you in a numerical value exactly what is the battery life, which in this case is 100% for this keyboard. So this is the official Gravistar software for the keyboard. You can see this is K1 officially is known and you can change it to default FN1, FN2, tap, we got keyboard, mouse, multimedia, uh, macro commands and key combination as well. You can register on the left hand side. You can actually change the global device info language, startup, exit, tab, sleep, uh, debounce and reset. Also, you can change the lighting effect manually through here as well, through the software and also the effect as well should be changed here. Let's actually get on with the functioning side of response time based on the Bluetooth connection mode, which I believe is likely to be the slowest responding situation. So here it goes. Yeah. Okay, so caps lock, so it's lowercase again. Look at that. That is responding very quickly indeed. And yes, indeed, this is a gaming keyboard that we have been looking for all along. All right, so for the first game, let's actually try the Soul Calibur 6. I'm always gonna choose Kilik. And let's try to destroy Cervantes, which I don't like at all. And try out with a really nice background indeed. So here it goes. Look at that key response. It's immediate, isn't it? Obviously, I'm actually pressing in a random button. Let's actually focus on the actual key here. So, yeah, okay. It's really responsive indeed. You can see from the display. Yeah. Look at that. Yep. Well done. I'm thoroughly enjoying this keyboard. 
Okay, so we're on the PUBG mode. I apologize, it's the only first person shooter game that I can show you at the moment, but um, you can see that I'm actually moving left and right, leaning left to right. So it's actually instantaneous, that's very good. And if you want to jump around, I mean, that's pretty good actually. Yeah, okay, that's very good. This is actually on Bluetooth connection. So if you were to do this and aim it and shoot, lean it and shoot yeah so that's very good isn't it reload and then basically lean it zoom in shoot and then jump and so on so yeah PUBG shouldn't be a problem at all right the third game is romance of three kingdom that doesn't really require instantaneous response but actually i do like this uh, wasd sort of lighting up in the darkness because i tend to play this game in the darkness so that's a very good reminder because that's what's been used for scrolling around the game as you can see it's really good it's actually quicker than the other keyboards i use for some reason and it's actually very nice isn't it so yep that will definitely improve because this is the game that i play most of the time personally for myself so gravistar mercury k1 keyboard is not only incredibly beautiful but also very practical and intelligent as well i can imagine myself spending hours mainly focusing on the rainbow display to see how sparkling the display can get but also despite on the bluetooth connection side of it it functioned very well responding very well playing games as i showed early on you could also check the battery status and which sort of connection you have as well so that's overall very good especially on the practical side of it you would have noticed the actual inscription is on the bottom side of each key so when you lean back and stretch your arm pressing the keyboard you can see exactly what you're pressing instead of actually leaning forward and looking down now notice about the bluetooth and wireless connection side of it if you don't press the keyboard about a minute the light will automatically go off for me my brain was naturally triggering to press any random button to relit the actual keyboard again if this becomes a long-term nuisance for you you could always physically connect the wire to your keyboard to your pc so that you'll have constant light now the tiny mirror-like display panel that shows the gravistar logo when you turn on your keyboard i just thought it would be really nice to actually have a fingerprint sensor on it so that you could instantly log into your pc or your mac and also increase the security level of your computer by having that sensor but hey maybe i'm being unrealistic here also on the ambient light is only available on the front bottom of it it would be really nice to actually have it on the side ways as well because the pattern seems to continue on but you only see the light on the front side of it i presume it's basically to save the battery life but then again it has an 8000 milliamp hour twice more than the capacity of flagship phones so i guess gravisar will have the final answer to it but anyhow i hope this video gave you a very good insight of how cool this mercury k1 keyboard is but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is lgp tech all the best bye bye